now at 820 with today's update. This morning we're catching up with David and Sean Goldman, the New Jersey father and son involved in an international custody case that dragged on for years. Well, Sean is now 11 years old and he's been back in the U.S. for two years. And Natalie Morales recently visited with him exclusively. Wow. Whoa. There you go. To look at him now, Sean Goldman seems like any other 11-year-old boy, shooting hoops and hanging out with his dad. So, any tests today? But the story behind this all-American moment is one of heartache, courage, and incredible perseverance. In 2004, David Goldman's wife, Bruna, took their son, Sean, then four years old, to Brazil to visit her family. They never came back. Bruna divorced Goldman in Brazil, remarried, got pregnant, then died during childbirth. David Goldman fought for years to get Sean back. But his ex-wife's family fought too, and the court battle went on for nearly five years. Finally, on Christmas Eve 2009, David and Sean Goldman were reunited in Brazil. We were there as they flew to New Jersey on a jet chartered by NBC News. My little boy is five feet away, sound asleep, peaceful. Is it great just being around him every day? Yeah, it is. It fascinates me. Now, two years later, I got a chance to catch up with David and Sean at home. Yeah. What do you remember about two I remember, years ago? Um, coming home and seeing all the snow. Here's something else. Two Sean. This is Sean back in 2009. A lot has changed since then. What's life like for you now? I get to wake up and spend time with my dad. I just love hanging out and stuff mm -hmm. and playing basketball and baseball. Sean took me upstairs to show me his room. This is cool. Your room has changed as much as you have. Yeah. Right? Tell me, you, you've grown how much since you got home? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was 4'11 when I came here. I think so, yeah. And you're now about? 5'4". And a half. You're and stretching. Half. What are your favorite times together? I know you guys just went fishing. I hear you caught something pretty crazy. A barracuda, or two barracuda. You caught two barracudas? <laughs> yeah. Oh were you scared? I um, would have been freaking out. <laughs> no, but they were really big and strong. Sean's big moment will be featured on an upcoming episode of the show Bass to Billfish on the NBC Sports Network. Right on. Coming up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're still processing everything. <laughs> he loves being on the water. He loves anything to do with the ocean. Swimming, getting shells, surfing, fishing. Um, so that was a very, very fun memory. A memory David Goldman will cherish after missing so much of Sean's childhood. Now David continues the work he started on the Bring Sean Home Foundation to help other families in similar situations. But he doesn't dwell on the past with Sean. Does he talk about life in Brazil, or has he sort of shut out the past? He doesn't ask questions about it. Um, once in a while, we'll be, we'll be driving, and he'll say, you know, my mom liked that song. Um, mm. But that's really it. Sean's grandmother in Brazil is still fighting to get him back. She's appealing several rulings and hasn't been able to see Sean since he left Brazil. And you're open to having her come here to oh, visit yes. him. Yes, I've, I've said that. I didn't want her to walk in my shoes, but she's got to stop the litigation. David says Sean is adjusting well to his new life and his new family. David is engaged to his longtime girlfriend, Wendy. They live together along with her two sons, Dylan and Jesse. Oh, yeah. Just a boy living a life his father Ooh, fought that's... so hard to restore. Sean even told his dad, I'm glad you never gave up on me. Does he know how lucky he is? I hope he feels, if he doesn't feel lucky, I mean, just normal and just a regular, a regular boy. I mean, there's, there's no walls between us. He'll just come up to me and give me a, a, a you know, said, Dad, can I have a hug? And just to hear him say that and then to be able to go over and give him that hug. It's just, uh, it's very special.